anything that can help parents save money on diapers, I think that's a great idea. New at 7, you may soon be done paying all the sales tax on diapers. Florida Representative Anna Escamani tweeted this on Wednesday. Diapers are now included in the Florida House's tax package as a year-long tax break. Escamani is hoping to make that tax ban permanent, but says this is a good start. Thanks for watching. I'm Krista Fogelsong. And I'm Jeff Harrison for Jeff Butera tonight. It's not a done deal just yet, however. But in your big story at 7, our Amanda Lojeski is getting us more from parents who say this tax cut would make a big difference. Diapers are essential for babies, but the cost can be a burden for parents. It is really pricey for what it is. North Fort Myers mom Brittany Carver tells me in one week alone. I was at least spending... 45 to 50 dollars because you know go through like eight or nine a day something lehigh acres mom brooke swift knows firsthand i just try and save money anywhere i can so i really do look at it you know like per diaper cost she says they're so expensive she used to use all the coupons she could i did use the coupon when my nine-year-old was little i would try and make it to where the diapers were like 15 cents a piece. Now, even with coupons, a single diaper is 20 cents. This is an essential expense that families have to have that they should not be taxed on. State Representative Anna Escamani filed a bill to eliminate the diaper sales tax in Florida altogether. And recently, so we were actually able to get uh, a partial tax break for diapers in the Florida House's tax package. Which means a year-long tax break on diapers in Florida starting July 1st. What's in one diaper bag can take a huge chunk out of parents' paychecks. Babies go through about 3,000 diapers their first year. That's about 1,000 bucks. So while a 6% tax might not seem like much at first, a tax ban could save parents about 600 bucks a year. I think it's way overdue. It definitely would help a lot of families for sure. Escamani tells me this move is a step in the right direction. Our hope is if we can actually get this to the finish line, this could become something permanent in years to come. The Senate still needs to approve the tax package before it's a done deal. In Lee County, Amanda Lojeski, ABC7.